Welcome. In front of me is an Asus ROG Phone 5S and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now there's a couple things that we need to do before we actually get started. So number one, I'm gonna go through a little bit of a setup right here just so I can connect to Wi-Fi. Now after connecting to your Wi-Fi, you can back out to the first page of the setup. Uh, I'm gonna progress through it just a little bit just so you can see that the device is locked. We do have this icon right here to show us that the device is locked, but I want to also just show the other methods of unlocking the device at the moment. So we have pattern and we also have the Google account. So obviously phone is locked or as locked as it can actually be. So. To get started with the bypass, uh, you will want to grab a SIM card. Uh, the SIM card should have some kind of contact on it. And you will see in a second why is that. Now uh, the contact on there doesn't really matter. It can be a fake contact, a real one. Like I said, it literally does not matter. So let's pop it in. Now the SIM card that I did insert does have a pin, so it will prompt me to actually confirm that in a second. There we go. So I'm gonna quickly do that. And let's select emergency, as you see me press right here. I'm gonna select emergency information, edit, add contact, and we have the contacts from the SIM card right here. So I'm gonna just choose any kind of contact right here. You can tap on it again. You want to then select the message icon right here. And in here you want to type in youtube.com. Send it. And as you can see it appears as a link. Now I will take out my SIM card right now just for... just so there is no confusion later on when there is a pin popping up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Tap on the YouTube link. From here, we'll now navigate to the account, help and feedback. And in here, we're searching for, actually, let me make sure. My bad. Let's go to accounts, settings. There we go. So settings, then Google, where is it? about then we have YouTube terms of service accept and continue and no thanks and now right at the top you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass now I will write it down first so if you need a moment to write it down once you see it uh, just pause the video So now would be the time to pause. And in here, we're gonna now select consent, not like we have an option. And you wanna scroll down till you see the settings icon. Tap on it, and this opens up your settings on the phone. And in here, you're gonna navigate to apps and notifications, see all 40 apps, tap on it three dots, and then select show system. Now, once you see the system applications, you want to start off by navigate to Android setup. As you can see, we have two of them. So I believe we have to terminate both of them. Doesn't really specify, so I'm gonna yeah, do the same thing for both of them. So there is one setup. There's a second one. And once you have disabled the two uh, setups, one can uh, one can be only for stopped. The other, the first one can be also disabled. So make sure you do that. So once those two have been finished, you want to now scroll down to Google Play Services. There we go. Google Play Services right over here. And same as before, we're gonna disable disable up for stop and okay. Now we're gonna go back. Let me let me just make sure though. Uh, so 
So apparently we should be able to finish this off. But I'm going to do one additional step just in case. So from here, I'm going to navigate to, I believe it's advanced. And I, hmm. Oh, there we go. Accessibility and accessibility menu. I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to select got it. This is just as a precaution. Uh, it's not in the guide, but I just want to be sure that if uh, whatever we did right now will not work, this will be a safeguard. So from here, I'm going to go back. Okay, there we go. And from here, we should be able to technically finish up the setup. So... And it actually looks like it is working without the need for the accessibility. So... We should have access to our home screen right about now. There we go. Now, before you start doing anything and clicking off the video, the process is still not finished. So right now what you want to do is navigate back to the settings after you get done with this annoying garbage. There we go. So from here, we're going to navigate to settings, then scroll all the way down to system. And from here, we're going to select, where is it? Reset options and erase all data factor reset. And once again, erase all data. Now, once you tap on this button, once again, it will begin the factor reset. Now, the reason why I'm not actually going to do this right now is because this will just go through a factory reset and from there you can set up your device however you like because it will be fully unlocked. So past pressing this button there is nothing informative that I'll provide you with. So this would basically conclude the bypass. Pressing it finishes, uh, finishes it up completely. And that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.